In this lesson, I'll cover the methods of viewing and navigating within Revit Architecture 2016. I'll use the project browser shown on the right as the primary method of navigation. With it, I can navigate through my floor plans, sheets, ceiling plans, 3D views, and all other views of the project. However, Revit has some other navigation tools I'd like to offer as alternatives to using the project browser. In the previous lesson, I created a new Revit architectural project, which is shown here. This is a blank project that has been renamed to include this lesson's title, as shown in the title bar at the top. To start navigating throughout the project, I need to place a Revit family into the project. You can see in the project browser that I'm currently viewing floor plan level 0. I can insert a new element from a family into this floor plan by going to the Architecture tab on the ribbon, selecting Wall, and selecting an architectural wall from the drop-down menu. As I do this, the ribbon changes to provide more specific modifying tools in the Modify Place Wall tab. The cursor changes to a crosshair icon, and I am ready to place the first wall. Within the green Modify Place Wall bar, I'll select the height of the wall to modify, and set it to reach level 1. Creating features will be covered more in depth in a later video, so don't worry too much if the project doesn't look perfect now. I simply need to create the first element to begin working with it. With the cursor hovering between the elevation markers, I'll click once, drag until I have the wall I want, and click again. You may be used to right-clicking here to exit the tool. However, in Revit, to exit a tool, just hit Escape twice. To zoom into the wall, I'll roll the center mouse wheel up. By holding down the scroll wheel and moving the mouse, I can pan around the project. For now, I'll align the wall close to the center of the graphics area. If I click on the wall, you can see that all the information appears in the Properties palette, and I can see that this is a basic wall. In the viewing window, I can see the measured length, and I can flip the wall by clicking the arrows shown here. This is a cavity wall, so I can change which sides are set as the brickwork and blockwork. The length icon shows a temporary dimension. This is not a fixed dimension that would show on the project sheets. If I select the dimension, I can change the value. I'll set it to 6,500 millimeters and press Enter. This updates the wall to the shorter assigned length. Focusing now on the navigation bar, you'll notice the 2D plan view option shown here. Clicking on the arrow to expand the tools shows a few options like 2D mode and 2D zoom direction. Clicking on this down arrow shows my zoom options. I can zoom into the region. I can zoom out by two times. I can zoom to fit, which fits the project to the screen and includes the elevation markers. Similarly, I have Zoom All to Fit. This icon shows the navigation wheels. Right now, the 2D wheel is the only available option. Now, if I select the 3D view here in the project browser, a 3D rendering of the wall appears. To change views and see the different angles of the wall, I can use the view cube to select any specific side to view. I can look at the top of the wall. I can look at an isometric view. Or I could switch to any other of the views here in the view cube. There are also 3D specific tools that can be used. Here, I have the zoom tools, like I had in the 2D nav bar. However, these tools shown here are specialized because I'm using a 3D connection space mouse. It gives me specific settings that work with a 3D mouse to make navigating CAD programs like Revit a bit easier. Don't worry if you don't have this. It is not critical for working in Revit. There is another way to rotate around the 3D view. If I hold down the Shift key and simultaneously hold down the mouse wheel, I can use the Orbit Navigation tool to move around in the project view. Notice, as I rotate the wall, the view cube updates in real time. Using this method, it is often difficult to achieve the exact rotation I want. Using the view cube is preferred when a specific view is desired. 
This type of rotation is also available on the 3D mouse. However, using the shift functionality enables you to quickly orbit around the model just as easily. Using the navigation tools seen in this lesson, including accessing views in the project browser, manipulating the view cube, and using graphical rotate and pan commands in the project view, you will be able to quickly move throughout the model and find the right view to make edits to or assess the model.